Well, we're thankful to see the sun that's already up, mm -hmm. of course. It's the night sky we're missing right now, in particular, the northern lights. The natural phenomenon has been spotted in full view in parts of Minnesota. You gotta get out of the metro area. Uh, Cody Matz has details on this. Good morning, Cody. Yeah, good morning, guys. I'm back. <laughs> Hello there. We missed you. Yeah, back to Cody. yeah, it wasn't long. <laughs> Uh, well, our sun is in an active phase, which tends uh, then sends solar storms in our, into our solar system. Now, when one of those solar flares is ejected in our general direction and interacts with our outer atmosphere, we get to see that interaction right here from the ground. We call those, of course, the northern lights. And they have been quite active over the last couple of nights. These photos were taken overnight by Austin, a few miles outside of uh, Gilman, which is northeast of St. Cloud. He says this photo is touched up and brightened up a little bit to show more contrast, but he says that all of the reds and greens, so all the color visible to the naked eye, which is unusual this far south. Now, Chris snapped these pictures not too far away from the original ones northeast of St. Cloud, showing the spectacular glow as well that waxed and waned for a couple of hours around and just after midnight last night. We weren't the only ones to get the show, though. Over in New Hampshire, an observatory camera capturing this beautiful view from the summit of Mount Washington, the tallest peak in the eastern half of North America, giving them a spectacular view of that northern horizon and seeing those lights. Satellite images from the University of Wisconsin capturing the Aurora Borealis displays from space. These were actually taken from uh, some of the activity to our north yesterday. They show a zoomed out view of southern Canada and the northern U.S. Now all the white swirls across the screen, so all of that white swirl, that's all the northern lights stretching across most of southern Canada. Uh, and uh, if you look really closely, here's Winnipeg. These lights here, this is the Twin Cities, so look how far much farther north it is. Chicago's down here, Lake Michigan, which is obviously dark, so just a tremendous show. Now, this band of northern lights stretched basically from Alaska through southern Canada and all the way into northern Europe. Here's an animation from NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center showing the aurora forecast. Um, and as it uh, moves forward and kind of see that it wax and wane through the uh, evening hours, keep in mind, though, that the northern lights are incredibly elusive and can be very splotchy. So they're not always uh, that widespread. And let's just say aurora forecasting is a lot harder than weather forecasting. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but we want to uh, know from you. We want to uh, get your opinion. Have you ever seen the northern lights? Right now it's about 50-50 on who has uh, seen the Northern Lights and who hasn't. You can weigh in online on our poll. You can go to fox9.com slash poll. We'll be checking uh, back throughout the morning. Either one of you seen the Northern Lights? I have not. No. I would love to. It's on the list. No. It yeah. is on the list. Yeah. I've seen a very, very like dim view of it, like squinting your eyeballs yeah. and going, I think I see it, but I haven't gotten the spectacular show. I actually uh, pointed the, uh, the IDS camera to the north right. to just see if I could see it in, in the city lights Too this morning. Too bright. Yeah. yeah you I have to get outside the city out. lights. So somewhere in the countryside, go out there, look up to the north, and hopefully you get a nice and little And what a show. Just yeah. gorgeous. It's been amazing the last mm -hmm. couple of nights. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Cody. Yep.